Welcome to Escape the Backrooms, an exploration game with massive maps that you can explore for hours on end without ever finding the exit. Wait, is that the whole map? So my game kind of has a problem. The backrooms are supposed to be millions upon millions of square miles, but the size of the levels in my game can be measured in inches. So I'm going to be adding massive new levels filled with brand new entities, adding procedural generation to make the levels unique every single playthrough, and making the levels that are already in the game even bigger. So the first new level I'm going to add is level 5, which is a 1930s vintage hotel which is presumably infinite with many rooms and halls that contains three main areas, the main hall, the Beverly room, and the boiler room. So I modeled out the lobby as well as the main hall that connects it to other rooms, and I really don't know what a Beverly room is, so I just modeled out this hotel room along with hallways that you can explore to try and find the exit. And for the boiler room, I created this massive underground system filled with pipes and boilers with different temperatures throughout the level, so be sure to keep a thermometer on you to make sure you don't overheat. So this level is a class 2 unsafe level, which means that it's not completely free of risk. Not only are there skin stealers and hounds spread throughout the level, but the closer you get to the boiler room, the more you'll encounter entities called death moths, which are moths that are extremely hostile and dangerous and will attack anyone that tries to aggravate them. Now I'm not a fan of bugs, so looking at this sends shivers down my spine, so if you're afraid of bugs then I suggest looking away because this is what it looks like in game. Now these male death moths are some of the most dangerous entities in the entire backrooms, not only because they can fly but also- Oh and I forgot to mention I also added female death moths, which are the same thing but way bigger. <laughs> So as soon as you hear any buzzing whatsoever that might indicate there's a moth nearby, you need to stop whatever you're doing and instantly make a run for your life. And whatever you do, don't go in their hive, just trust me, don't do it. I also added smaller groups of male death moths scattered around the level and a new item called bug spray which can kill them to drop moth jelly, which might sound pretty gross since it's a gelatinous slime that drops out of a bunch of dead insects, but it's actually really helpful since it gives you a big speed and stamina boost, which can definitely help out if you make the mistake of shining a flashlight at one of them. The next level I'm gonna add, well more like change, is level 94. So in most pictures, level 94 is just a bunch of houses in a hilly grassy level, but that's not good enough for me or the people in my discord, which if you haven't joined then you definitely should if you want your suggestions to be added to the game. So I added roads, sirens that play vintage cartoon music, and trucks you can use to ride around the level. And I already mentioned it in a previous video, but there's also a day and night cycle and whatever you do, make sure you don't get caught outside in the dark, because there are entities called animations which are extremely hostile entities that look like puppets and will hunt down wanderers at night. They aren't the most intelligent entities, so your best chance for survival is to hide from them. So I got this doll model and wait, this guy looks totally harmless. There's no way he can actually be dangerous. Oh, what the fuck? So even though animations might look friendly, once it gets dark, they become extremely vicious and will kick down doors and search houses. So be sure to hide and don't let them see you under any circumstance. So the way you escape level 94 is by going from house to house moving through the level during the day while maintaining your sanity level and also avoiding any flying trucks as a result of my terrible coding skills. And if you can survive the level for long enough, you'll eventually reach the floating castle, which is a castle that appears to be a funhouse area and contains a large doorway that will lead to the throne room, which contains a brand new boss entity known as the Animated King who is highly intelligent and will put you through a test to see if you can withstand your own worst nightmares, so good luck with that. So I modeled out this room based on the reference from the wiki that contains an entrance to the throne room, which looks like this. Now I couldn't find a reference of what the animated king looks like, so I decided to go with everyone's worst nightmare, a plastic clown with green hair. Or is that just me? So when it comes to the boss fight, it can't just be a typical boss fight because it really wouldn't make much sense in this game, so instead, I made it so that it only spawns behind you and will chase you around in the dark and disappear before you get a chance to see him. So make sure you're constantly checking your back, and if you're in a multiplayer game, be sure to let your teammates know he's behind them before it's too late. So before I add the next level, I need to add the most important mechanic by far in the entire backrooms, but first hit the like button subscribe because we're so close to 500,000 subs which is absolutely insane, so thank you guys so much. And if you don't, then there's a possibility you might no clip into the backrooms, I'm just saying. Now the most requested and most important feature in the entire backrooms is sanity, which gets lower whenever you enter dangerous areas and can be raised by drinking almond water or by just chilling out in the pool rooms. 
So I added a sanity bar and also added visual effects the lower it gets and once your sanity is empty then it's already too late and you'll start slowly going insane so be sure to always stay alert for your current sanity level and drink almond water constantly. I also added stats on the sanity levels of every level in the hub so it's probably a good idea to check those before entering into a new level. The next level I'm going to add is level 6, also known as Lights Out. Level 6 is an expansive complex of indeterminable size made up of metallic walls, brick floors, and a complex system of pipes. The entirety of level 6 is shrouded in complete darkness and very little is actually known about it since even flashlights don't work, but it's widely regarded as the most dangerous level in the entire backrooms. Now, since almost every screenshot of the level is just a black screen, it's kind of hard to come up with references for what it looks like, but I managed to find this image on the wiki and blocked it out and added pipes, props, decals, textures, and some natural lighting coming from outside. Now, don't get too excited because this is the only natural light source in the entire level and everything else is pitch black, so once you get to a certain point, even your flashlight won't work anymore. Now, it'd be pretty lame if you and your friends were just stumbling around in the dark walking into walls, so I decided to add an item that I think is pretty unique called the LiDAR scanner, which lets you light up walls and find your teammates. I also added a motion scanner to it which lets you stay alert of the entities in this level called Wretches, which are wanderers who have undergone extreme changes, turning them into this abomination. Wretches are extremely hostile and carry weapons and tools such as firearms, grenades, night vision goggles, and melee weapons, so be sure to drink your almond water or you'll end up like this guy. Now, wretches have extremely good hearing, so if you see one on your radar coming your way, be sure to hide and stay as quiet as possible and hope it doesn't hear you. Now, the final level I'm going to add in this update is level 0, which you're probably thinking. But didn't you already add that level? And the answer is yes. 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 But, you probably didn't know that level 0 also has sub-levels, like level 0 0.1, which is exactly like level 0 but with red lights. Level 0 0.2, which is also exactly like level 0 but with red carpets. And my personal favorite, level 0 point McDonald's sign, which is literally just a McDonald's inside of the back rooms. Now I know they seem kind of boring, but the reason I'm adding them to the game is so I can experiment with a little something called procedural generation. Which is what pretty much everyone is asking me to add. Now the reason I haven't added it yet is because there's a lot of technical issues that make it really hard to add since you not only have to code an entire procedural generation system but also use procedural lighting, procedural shadows, and procedural AI navigation, which not only looks bad but will also fry your computer. So I'm going to experiment with making this level procedurally generated and if it performs well then I might start using it in some other levels. So in level 0.1, you need to go through the level and find the missing explorers while avoiding multiple entities who lurk throughout the map. Now, be sure to take the time when the lights are on to find as many explorers as you can because the catch is, the lights periodically turn off, so be sure to come fully equipped with flashlights and scanners and be prepared to hide if you need to. I also added a spray paint item, which I highly recommend you use, otherwise if you get killed then you'll have no way to find your items. So the new level 0 and its sub-levels aren't going to be in the game this update since I don't want there to be a bug in the procedural generation code and have everyone's computer just crash on the first level, which, by the way, if you haven't noticed, the update is out right now, so be sure to check it out. The game is called Escape the Backrooms, not any other name, since I've seen so many comments describing things that aren't even in my game. So I still have tons of plans for this game, like adding even more official levels, changing the player model to not look absolutely terrible. Why are you bullying me? And of course, adding VR support, so don't worry because I definitely didn't forget about that. So if you want to stay up to date, then be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you won't miss my next videos where I add Rest them. In peace!